The MIT Minecraft project started as an idea, formed out of the circumstances of students whisked away from their campus among fears of a spreading global pandemic. We started thinking of ways to replace Campus Preview Weekend, to show the prefresh our beloved campus virtually. We set down foundations and dreamed of what MIT and Minecraft could be. It's been oddly relaxing to both build <laughs> MIT's campus and like walk through it again. I remember the first time that I saw some of the buildings after they got completed being like, whoa, this is actually MIT. I feel in some sense like I'm home. Being able to like go through familiar locations and just like know that I can see these locations, not just in my memory, but like in a physical model. I've really been blown away by the attention to detail that people put into all the buildings that, and like projects they've done on the server um like i mean when i when we started this i kind of expected like okay there's so many buildings we'll probably just build like the outsides and so it kind of looks like mit but people really have been like trying to build the whole interiors and like mostly from memory um and it really just shows to me like how much these spaces meant to them and like how how like I, mit is basically like a second home to a lot of people i think and I think also building off of that, it's really cool to be able to have sort of like a virtual archive of sort of your copy of MIT, because inevitably new <laughs> buildings pop up, things go and get replaced. And to be able to simultaneously look back and be like, oh, that was the building that I used to work in, and or that was the building where I used to live in before it gets renovated or it becomes this and that is really nice <laughs> to be able to have preserved in some sense for future generations. And I'm looking forward to when all of this is over, like actually meeting up in real life on campus and being like, hey, remember five months ago when we were doing this cool thing together? And here we are, one year later. Six moderators, hundreds of builders, thousands of visitors connecting with colleges across the country and around the world, in the news a few times, hosting dozens of tours for prefrosh, members of the MIT community, alumni clubs, educational seminars, a Twitch stream for a game lab class, and the public. We helped the first and second iterations of CP Star. Parties, a concert, hacks. We were even in a radio drama. Hey, I also heard some people were building MIT's campus in a video game. Could you play me something about that? Here you go. MIT in the Minecraft world. This sort of like digital recreation is a way to tag memories. So like, remember that one time in the beginning of the year when I went with friends to yeah, go see the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee? Yeah, I can point out what row we were like roughly seated in. Those similar views and angles in my memory, done even in a very blocky form, it helps. Huh. That sounds really cool. With lots of memes along the way. We even made it onto the class of 2023 Brass Rat, immortalized on the class ring of a class greatly impacted by our time. While it will never truly capture the MIT experience, we like to think of it as a spiritual recreation built by students, faculty, staff, alumni, community members, and guests. MIT Minecraft reflects what campus means to us. And now, one year on, we hope to open our virtual campus to you, dear hackers of the first MIT Minecraft-a-thon, to help fill in our lovely campus and start projects that expand it. We dream of VR and AR applications, of creating alternate universes, of tools to expand our functionality. But even the sky isn't the limit. We want to see your coolest creations. Oh, and there's some prizes too.